All right. Hey. Welcome. Welcome to the podcast, which we are not ready for, actually. Hey, but you're live. Yeah. Get ready, because we're about to start. About to get it popping. Get ready. Go. (laughs) We got a whole new setup. You're going to break the game. You're so good. Be ready. So is that going to pick me up? Being all the way over there? Uh, yeah. Of course. All right. Something great podcast. All right. Hey, I see you, one viewer. Jai, I see you, dog. Sammy, you know, I'm watching. I'm multitasking right now. What's happening, David? I see you. Long time, brother. <laughs> How's the fam? Fam is lit. They lit, fam? <laughs> Give it three seconds. All right, welcome. What's up? Welcome to Some Great Podcast episode Tree 232. And we're in here, and we're going to start this off really quickly with the greatest rapper of all time joining your next, rap and next. hip-hop the best ever about to be lit fan black china mm. <laughs> i'm sure you all are looking forward to black china she did drop some jewels you thought she was away and finished Look again. Be she's, ready. she's Be dropping ready. more than babies she's dropping rhymes and men Apparently, Amen, yeah. you're dropping more than yeah. She could be dropping 16, some hot 16s. Word up, might get another uh, Lambo. Yo, there <laughs> you go, there you go, some Lambo, <laughs> some real Gucci flip flops. So you yeah. think you think she's gonna be a successful rapper if she does this? Uh, I think she can very easily she be. Can. I agree, 100. Yeah. percent She successful can very easily enough. Be. One, get get a good writer to write your tracks. Yep. Two, get some prominent features. Yeah. Three. Get the best producers or some, you know, notable producers to produce your tracks. Yeah. Yeah. Four, say yo. Five. She don't need it. She's already famous. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think she'll be all right. I mean, she's yeah, she's already famous. So um, drop a track, people will listen to it. It will get views. And if you're in current times of internet rapper celebrity. That's all you really need to do is get some views and people talking. You don't actually have to be good. So That's the truth. I think it'll work in her favor. She can do it. Might as well. She's probably looking at Cardi B and seeing what she's doing right now. Like, hey. If Cardi B can do it and she couldn't pass 8th grade. <laughs> Maybe there's a reason she couldn't pass. Maybe she just wasn't going to school. <laughs> I mean, that, 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 that happens. That makes sense. That makes <laughs> very, very logical Maybe sense. She right stupid. Yeah. Maybe she just wanted to party all the time. Yes. Mm-hmm. Next door. Yeah, you know? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so Black China lost her uh, original income source at this point. So. Who, Rob? That's correct. Is so, that the case? Was there a case? I mean, she, she lost him as, a, to court as someone who was like, taking care of her. <laughs> So she yeah. still got she doesn't have custody of the baby and stuff. Well, yeah. I mean that's still it's up in like the up air. In the but air. Yeah, she'll probably get court, custody. So. I don't see nothing wrong with it. But I'm just saying. Like uh, any update on her uh, suing for extra revenge money. porn? That no, shit ain't happening. <laughs> no, but there was an update with the. Uh, it might put that the in lawyer. the custody. That lawyer is the one who's now uh, representing the one of the chicks that mm. uh, you know got burned by Usher. For real. The big girl. She, yeah, That's dude. She was standing, yes, she was Maybe standing next that. to her when she did the... Uh, oh, that was the same one. Thing. Yes, it's the exact same one. Oh, it's the God. same one. So, yes. Shout out to that lawyer for getting all the money. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, <laughs> uh, the, that girl... All the celebrity trash money. She's, she's, she's a she, right? That's the lady, right? Yeah. The lady one? It's, a, it's a female, right? And then the chick that uh, announced was saying basically the story on what happened with Usher. She said... She was first off. Let me say, um, no disrespect, but she was a she was a pretty big girl. She's probably mm-hmm. like um, possibly over three hundred. Uh, either way, she was basically saying that voluptuous. 
she, you know, she was a little, she was, little well, she was well rounded. Would you she say was that? Huge. Please so, don't be too <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> she, she had on a. Uh, she she said she had on a happy birthday tiara or something. Usher seen her in the crowd. Uh, a security guard went up to her and was like, "Yo, we want you backstage." So she went backstage. Usher want to give you that birthday love. Oh, we want to do something. He got it bad. We want to see you in your birthday suit. So goes backstage. She said they switch numbers. He invites her to the hotel. They talk for a little bit mm -hmm. and then engage in sexual conduct. Da da. And then I guess he just let it burn. Let it burn. <laughs> <laughs> burn it now. It is. Apparently, it's, all the years that had passed, it did not burn. Yeah, it's like all of a sudden that his now, uh, his news comes out that he has it. Do you and, think he did uh, that? You think she was a victim? After seeing that other video that I seen today with him bringing the big girl on stage and like, well, that's you know, common. Doing you, bring crazy. Big, you bring the big girl on you stage. Do that. That's, you that's do, what you do. do. That. You yeah, you do do that at times because you want that regular girl up there who's the fan. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, that could have, he could have picked any girl out of the stage. He could pick the ugly one instead of the big one. I mean, granted, the, that video wasn't the same girl that is uh, claiming this. Or where making did, these where did this happen today? Did it happen in know. Vegas? Because if it did, it should have stood there. It should have definitely stayed. <laughs> Regardless of where it was, it should have stayed there and never came out. Cause... She probably laughed and was like, the herpes came with me. <laughs> it should <that's> have <laughs> It should have stayed there. No. I got to sue now. Shit that's a trip, though. They were saying, you know, it's two chicks and a guy that are actually suing them. Yeah. I did see a bunch of tweets from somebody two who... Uh, yeah, there's a guy. It is. There's a dude. TV show? Sounds like it. <laughs> that's a two lot chicks of, and a, that's a lot of movie. shows. Yeah, I don't know if it's a TV show. Two chicks and a dude. Only back when they had like the Playboy Channel, man. Oh. oh. So uh, basically, one that of the dudes. Show. Hey, good show. Two yeah. chicks. I used and to a dude. watch that. I used to watch that a little scrambled every once in a while. You know, I, seeing I still watch it. Scrambled? No. Uh, okay. Not scrambled. Okay, okay. HD streaming, yeah. Oh, damn, okay, baller, I see you. Wow. This shit ain't this shit like the same price as your whole cable bill, usually. Uh, you know, Pornhub's free. Oh, you know okay, saying? that's the one you're watching. <laughs> all right, all right. So, uh, apparently there's some tweets that I was reading from somebody who worked at Usher's restaurant who basically said that hmm. Usher and the main manager there were... Uh, very flirty flirty and when they would sit down and eat together it looked more like a couple eating together and that Usher would flirt with a lot of the male staff there at the restaurant so was the staff gay though yeah the gay that's what they I'm sorry that's what he said he, he would flirt with that gay male staff members I mean it makes sense so. if you're a celebrity people are fans and they're gay what they're gonna like is you being nice to them so it yeah. only makes sense that you're nice to the gay people you see the way he said hi to me yeah you're like oh thank you sweetheart <laughs> yeah like it's he hit on me no anyway yeah, that's good. I mean, that's the thing too. With somebody tweeting like that, you can't really. Who's to say that dude even worked there? It could be a falsetto, but hey. it could have ate off his plate. Let me get one of them wings. <laughs> be <laughs> ready. Use this fork. Got herpes. Mad. <laughs> you you, you, you gonna eat that? And then he ate it. And yeah, then now, yeah, you got cold sores got all over herpes. his mouth. You got that herpes syphilis B. Mm -hmm. Yep. And mm -hmm. B stands for usher. That's what happens when you. Want that piece of chicken? You know what I'm saying? Chicken. Trying to dodge E. coli. E. coli. He ended up with something a little ended worse. Ended up with a herpes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a hair piece. Hair piece. <laughs> <laughs> you got hair piece now. Hair piece. Anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, Usher, take care of your business. I'm these people hold you down. Put out another album. Yeah, dog, you're not going down. Be sure none this. of the songs sound like you giving someone herpes. Man, like you got it bad. If he comes out with another album. <laughs> Let it burn. If this hurt. is his promo for another album, that's yeah. borderline genius. Love hurts. Because everyone's going to want to know what to do. <laughs> no. I don't know, dude. I don't think that this is good promo. You can't put out a sex song, right? Any, any promo, promo is put out good a sex promo, song, but like, I don't think this would be good promo for an album for him. Well, anything, girls, anything is good. Guy, Do you promo. think people are going to want to know the truth or think whatever they read is the truth? <laughs> no. Like he puts out confessions and everyone no. thought it was about his life, but it was about JD's life. I didn't know that. Is that right? That's true. I didn't read the back. That's story. right. You used to know Usher, right? Nope, not at all. He knew JD. <laughs> he knew JD. Fake news. 
Fake news. MJD and Bowser. Yeah. Yeah. MJD. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you got Tyler, dog. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, off that, what else we got here? Mm. Uh, I that noise. Yeah, what, what else we got here? What <laughs> noise was that? Oh, did you guys hear about that uh, city in California? I think it's called Nippon that a Phoenix-based company bought. It was a marijuana company bought it. Phoenix based company? Phoenix based company bought this city. I, I want to say it's not on. Anyways, um, bought the city wow. and they're trying to make it the first like weed vacation place. So, straight marijuana mm-hmm. based vacation place. They bought it for five million. Five million. Five million. Five million. That's not, I know, right? It's very small. It's like a little ghost town. I seen heard it's like 20 there. people who live there. I didn't see the amount of people that yeah. live there, but I definitely, I seen it. It's got like a tiny casino. Has a casino, dude. Uh, a little oh, one, shit. but um, they're not the destination. The, it's it's self sufficient. That's what you'd say, because they have uh, what are they? The solar panels. It's got like a huge solar panel factory, like an area that's all solar panels that basically powers the whole city. Sound about right. So, so it should be, if it's you know, that's how those random cities in the middle of nowhere they usually have a whole shit of solar panels. If you're ever driving through fucking nowhere. Which I have done a number of times, and you'll see a whole solar panel farm. Yeah, so which is them taking energy from the sun, and then I think selling it back to the city. So a lot of places which do is that. Done profitable from from the, the way that works that, that I understand. It's like <clears throat> you get your energy out of it, and then you have so much excess, you sell it back to the power companies or whatever. Yes, I, but what, uh, what yeah, I, with this happening, I mean. Shit, weed's legal in California and Vegas uh, right now. Well, Nevada, all in Nevada. Mm-hmm. So I'm waiting for the weed casino to pop off, mm-hmm. seeing if that happens. Right now, I know. So what's gonna be in a weed casino? <sighs> Just everything fucking weed based. Weed well, you slot hit the machine. jackpot you can and fucking weed smoke comes weed out? in the in the building, shit like that. There, this thing is. Can you win weed? I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping maybe. But they're saying that uh, basically, like I was reading the laws, and you're not able to consume marijuana in the casino you have to be at your place of residence so they're trying to like change the laws around right now so tourists can come out purchase it at the store or whatever Uh and then be able to smoke it somewhere but um yeah i mean this california thing is definitely crazy and i think uh i mean it can definitely be something if they do it right and uh they're gonna get some money if they do it right that's the thing. It's on the border of Nevada and California. And uh, like I said, I mean, Phoenix-based company, so they're obviously seeing Either way, they something own, in they it. They own the town. Yeah, they got a fucking yeah. town now. They can name the town whatever they want, really, right? Weed they city. can change it. Yeah. And there's a weed there's already city. a weed California. But yeah, they there can is? It. Yeah, there's a weed. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Lots of people taking photos by that. Marijuana city. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Marijuana city. You just use the other one. I don't know. What's, yeah. the, what's the other name for weed? Bud Rastafari Pride. City. <laughs> yeah. Rasta City. No. No. Cush. You know, that's a, you know, that's a strain. Cush City. Cushville. Cushville. There you go. Budville, USA. There you go. Nugville. I see some t-shirts right there. Hey. Smoketown. Oh, that's a good weed, one, too. For somebody who doesn't store. smoke, you're coming out with some good ones. You smoke on the side, dog? No. That's how you do when your mind's clear. <laughs> <laughs> they should hire you. <laughs> Anyway, uh, also uh, we heard Amazon's hiring. Huh? So what's up with Amazon? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, dude, he writes the list and yeah, puts this one on the list. I did. I forgot like, the list. Yeah, there are. There's another thing. That's why I don't smoke because I forget without weed. Oh my god, damn! So Amazon's hiring. You need a, a job? Of, uh, <laughs> Go to Amazon. Uh, no, apparently yeah. they've been opening a lot of factories all around. Uh, you know, because they uh, they do they the same day delivery now. They do, yeah. in, like in the city. Yeah, my, mm-hmm. I know uh, some people who do that. They, mm-hmm. are, they have a huge majority of the online shopping now. Gee, they fucking have so. all of the online shopping, dog. Yeah, they like everything. Sure. And, they're, and they're either have launched or, or I think, testing the fucking uh, the food service delivery, too. Yeah. Really? Yeah, they have like a, like a you know, like Blue Apron. Like Uber Eats. Oh no no! You're talking like a Blue Apron where you're they're serving like a subscription. Okay, meal subscription service. base. Yeah, where they send you the food already. Yeah, which apparently, speaking of that, because 
I'm an investor in the Blue Apron. Blue Apron, you better come up, baby. <laughs> I didn't know that. I heard they took a big loss a couple weeks ago. They're taking some big losses right now. Because, I was just kidding. I made that up. Because Amazon uh, basically said that they are going to be a meal subscription company. They bought, like, you know, all the information, the domains and everything. And they're, like, supposed to be working on this stuff. Anyway, so Blue Apron stock plummet down. Damn. I think they opened at 10 or $11. Which was already low because they were expected to open at like fifteen. They're now down at like under six dollars a. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, what they share. open at? You said they opened at what? How much? I think at ten or eleven. I forget. Oh, I think it might be eleven. That's a pretty big drop. And they might have opened at ten, went up to eleven, and then they're straight down like five something right now. Anyway, Ooh. this Sad. week, this week though, Blue Apron's gonna uh, post their um, their income. So we'll see how. Uh, so were they the first out. people to uh, first company to do that? Uh, I don't know if they're the first, but they're definitely the biggest out of them all, I think. And um, couldn't they have done to post their income? They're gonna no to be the subscription. Oh, okay, the biggest company to yeah. do that. Okay, I'm sorry, I got lost for a second. Yeah, they have like something million people subscribed already, and they're supposed Amazon to be Amazon does no oh, Blue, Blue Apron. Apron. Okay, and okay. they're supposed to be posting their quarterly. Uh, Profits? Profits, or, uh, that's the word. Earnings? Yeah. So have you ordered Blue Apron before? I have. It's delicious. It actually. was good. And uh, everyone else should sign up. Uh, it's a great service. Stepdaughter got it once, and yeah, it was good. Yeah, it's it's great. My mom uses it all the time. She, I'm pretty sure she still has it. I guess if it's just you, just one or two people. If it's like two good. people, it's good. Like one, It's a little, three. it's like $10 a meal. It's right? a big Breaks family. Probably not. I think it or might no, be less. I think it might be like $8 a meal. Right. That per it shakes person. out to or something like that. Right. And uh, I don't know. People love it. So I'm waiting on that stock to hit on Thursday. And we're about to see some skyrocket. So I can get some uh, some money. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Uh, what else we got? Speaking of money, Netflix. How about that? Netflix mm. uh, just shared the fact that they're billions in debt. Lots, right? Like twenty five billion or twenty something? billion in debt. Twenty okay. billion in debt, which to me makes sense. Right. They just had the Chappelle, the two Chappelle episodes. They got all these new series popping off. Ozark. Yeah. Best best show. Best new show right there. Anyway, they got all these shows, all the movie. They got Stranger the Will Smith movie coming, coming out. They got a Will Smith movie yeah. coming out just mm -hmm. for Netflix. Yeah. yeah. Trippy man. They had that one. They had they, work. Uh, they had a Brad Pitt movie come out recently. Mm hmm. A comedy. Yep. I got that on my list. I'm gonna have to watch it. I don't know. Yeah, That's good. Did you done. watch it? Not yet. I got oh, it so they it. had a Brad, like a straight yeah. Brad Pitt Netflix game? originals. What's yeah, up, man, they're fucking. It's no changing. Wonder. Times are changing. Anyway, yeah, you got to spend billion. money to make money. So you spend all yeah. this money, you got to make the money back. It's but like, are they gonna get a shitload of subscribers from that? You think that's gonna make it bounce back? I think they'll get it back. I think it's going to be a lot more worldwide subscribers rather than like I can't lie, in though. the states. That Will Smith trailer looked trash, though. Did you I ever watch the fucking, uh, what's his trash. name, the dude who was in, uh, God, uh, the, uh, Adam Sandler, you ever watch that Adam Sandler, the Dirty Six or whatever the hell it was? You gotta like, I didn't finish it. I think you gotta oh, like that Adam shit was Sandler movies to like those nah, movies. That shit was like, yo, uh, the earlier Adam Sandler movies were cool, it this was, was cool. probably one of the worst movies, like, but you, you know, know you so don't think racist, it was... like. You don't think it was cool back then because it was funny back then? It could have been. And it could have been funny You ever at that watch time. any of the old movies? Like yes. Uh, Happy Gilmore. I seen it on the uh, was TV. It, and it, was, it was good. I was laughing still. Fucking Chubbs with the hand, the wood hand. <laughs> See, you laughing. Yeah, it was good. This, not so good. <laughs> you could just well, tell. All those movies kind of been the same. They just That's what I feel. Slow. I feel like they're the same. Except for you, like, you gotta uh, like Adam Spanish, Sandler, to like which wasn't a comedy. That's true. Yeah, uh, you definitely gotta be an Adam Sandler fan, which he's kind of ran his. Yeah, course. but he jumped on early, and he by Netflix doing that. He was the kept... first one, I think, that did like a, a movie a straight, for Netflix yeah. that yeah. was a major actor or whatever comedian. Yeah, but then they kept doing all these uh, comedy specials, and they just giving out to not God not damn, all dude. comics are good. So. I've seen like 10 different <laughs> I mean, comedy specials on there that's like new, new release, new mm -hmm, release, new mm -hmm. release. 
mean, so a lot of them are good, though. Oh, I believe they are. That's the thing. I, I don't see them giving them. a... A lot of them are, are, are good. They, they, given they, they, I don't watch all of them, so yeah. I'm sure some of them are trash. But. Chingo Bling just got his, right? Did you watch Chingo Bling? I haven't watched any... I haven't watched the Chappelle <laughs> ones all the way through. Not the Chappelle ones. I've been right. sleeping. Sleeping. I've seen the Chappelle, Chappelle ones. ones are awesome. And the Louis C.K. ones, and Louis C.K. ones are better. That's what you were saying. I passed that one the other day. I was going to watch the Chappelle one, and I seen that, and I mm-hmm. hovered on it for a second, but I'm like, nah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, nah. Too white of a guy. He's too white for me. <laughs> but he's like you. He's white Mexican. He is? Yeah. Shut up. Is, yeah. he, is he Mexican? Yeah. No. Oh, watch it then. I don't <laughs> Okay. I see him as white. He's hilarious, though. So. <laughs> yeah, no, he's funny from what I've seen. It's Even just... though everyone thinks we're white. All day. Yeah. yeah. Especially on the, uh, it's funny, though, when I go to any of the Mexican spots, everybody trying to speak to me in fucking Spanish. All the time. All day. The Spanish, That's why the Spanish, the Spanish people, people they know. Spanish. They know. But to everybody else, like, yeah. Uh, everybody in the white. comments, white. You can't hide your <laughs> scent with that John Paul go to you. <laughs> well, actually, you know, I'm half Mexican, quarter Spanish, and a quarter mystery meat. So we don't even know. I could literally be black. I could be Chinese. Chinese. <laughs> Nobody Chinese. knows. Chinese, Chinese. Japanese, Japanese. You could have had a piece. <laughs> could have been had a piece. <laughs> Who knows? So yeah, uh, I don't even claim white no more. It comes to that little list where it's like Mexican, Hispanic. I think if uh, I don't think Netflix is in a bad, bad standing. No, dude, they're gonna be fine. I think since they released that, uh, why don't we get all the other networks to release their losses? And I bet you it was far greater than twenty billion. You got a point There's there. A lot of shit TV. You got a point there. there. A lot of don't, shit. Don't, look, the only way Netflix is gonna take over the cable sector of all those other companies is if they go hard. Yeah. If they offer their they're gonna own have to go hard. Which they are. service. Yeah, the internet service, Netflix, if you're watching. They team I, up with I like know you Verizon probably are. or something? And they're trying to give Get us a show. the internet service. These cable companies are trying to rip people off. Yeah. Oh, you're talking internet cable service? Yeah. Like, like Sling? Along with the Netflix. I mean, like, like you can have it as a separate Shit, service. bro. If they well, tried like to offer, do that, yeah. Because these cable companies are trying to get you. They would kill it. But that's the thing. They're that's trying to charge so customers expensive. more now. That's probably hella expensive. But that's yeah, the thing. We were course, talking about Sling earlier. And Sling, like, as soon as Sling came out, they started doing good, and then right after that, you seen DirecTV pop up with their little shit, their little subscription-based cable yeah, thing. Sling's just, basically a 25, you pay $25 a month, and you get, like, a, a, just like, 20, 30, 40 cable channels. And now there's a YouTube TV where it's something like Sling, but you get to pick your channels. What? How much is that shit? I think it's around the same price. 20, 25 mm-hmm. bucks to 50 bucks. That's like that. the PlayStation. But does it play like live? It's like playing like live what's showing yeah, you in your, your area? pick your channels. Whatever channels you want. Shit, that sounds get. dope. Yeah. Hey, hey, YouTube. I see you. I'm going to be checking that shit out. That sounds dope. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna look into Shit's that. changing. Yeah. That's cool, man. So, Cable's uh, so expensive. All you cable services, uh, was it Cox and Time Warner and Optimum? Get your yeah, shit together because well, you to be out. That's the thing, too, with something that, like that YouTube TV thing. Too. How much Get cable do you have? Together. Well, direct right? TV is there now. About to have a warehouse of satellites. AT&T now. So cool. you get AT&T, you got direct TV. Well, that's what I'm saying. How many All how right. many channels do you not watch on your fucking cable? A lot. That's Fuck what it. I'm saying. So if you're Hundreds. able to pick it and you're only spending like 18 bucks a month and you have all the channels you want to watch and then yeah. some... Like, you good. You sit there with your girl, pick out what you guys want. I subscribe to cable, but I'm waiting on that uh, that service that's a, a, like a Dollar Tree. You know what I mean? They hit you like every channel's a dollar. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. And then you Let just pick your channel. Let me know dollar. when pops. Dollar a month are going to add up, so you're going to still get your money. Mm-hmm. Bro, you're going to do need that, about five you're going to spend like $80 There's a month. They yeah, still all the channels. All I need is like five channels. I'm good. Which five? Still offer tele- five? Which it? five? Which five? Top five channels. Top five channels. Top which five which channels? channels? Vice. Vice. Vice is number one. I like Food USA. Network. Travel Channel. HGTV. HGTV. Shit. Oh man, I might have to skip HGTV. I feel like there might be something. I'm going. F- I'm going. Oh, I can get Fox. Dude. USA. I like USA. Cable. Oh, I don't even watch USA myself. Uh, damn. Yeah, actually. That's H- it. That's what I'm saying. HGTV. That's it. HBO maybe. You know, I know there's a couple. History. I need history. Yeah. I've got to have history. I might do DIY network. 
Yeah, see, there's a few. Yeah. I'd probably end up with like uh, 18 like five. channels. 15, like five. 15, 15 you guys, 18 you guys channels. You watch uh, TLC, right? VH1, yeah, too. Watch TLC. VH1, I yeah, I'd have to have TLC because i got to have that 90 Day Fiance up on there. Need that? Yeah, see? Basic <laughs> TLC. I maybe, 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 TLC. Maybe, maybe I'm going 10. You know, 10 channels. That's what I'm saying. 10, 10 to channels, 15. Like, you mean you know, with that 999? I mean, 999 a month. And Netflix, I'm See how fast these cable companies' stock would just drop. Or just straight on demand. I don't even need live channels anymore. I'd be on demand anyway. On demand's cool, but sometimes I like surfing and being able. Only to Only HGTV for shit. me is live. Everything else is on demand. I don't even watch it unless I hit Netflix. If if none's on my on demand and I record it, it's all connected. We can't we can't be coming home at the same time to watch something because a lot of us have more work to do once we get out of work. You know, so we don't have time to watch stuff that's on. So we got to save it and watch it later on demand. Yeah. So. Until the kids. economy changes. I got kids. You know? I, got I ain't got five. time. <laughs> I got five kids to feed. Anyway, man. Yo, this list is crazy. I don't, I don't know who, who did yeah, this, this list. This is a little wild. This list is like a bunch of shit I never, haven't even heard of. Yeah, man. The job must have not been you high. You should be uh, taking the reins here. And what do you mean? You should be running Ringing the up the list, yeah. <laughs> he's, like, he, he's like, look right there. It says... He's like, I don't know. It says... <laughs> Minneapolis school explosion. What about, uh, what about... <laughs> so Caitlin? what happened there? What happened there? Yeah, uh, tell us about the explosion. Tell us about the school explosion. I don't know. <laughs> it blew up. I forgot. There's so much other news. Uh, it just keeps like, How, it how just do we know? You gotta read the article, dog. Yeah. I read it, then I read something else. <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner. The... Caitlyn Jenner rocking the Trump hat after Trump banned transvesti- transgenders. Yeah. From joining the military, and now yes. she was seen wearing a Trump hat. I'm like, make up your mind, you fraud. That make up your mind. Caitlyn Jenner's always supported Trump. She's a piece of trash. But how are you gonna like support Trump after he like shuts down your people? Well, again, cause because she's a piece of trash. she's a piece of trash, and when it was a he, he was a piece of trash, and has been Republican their whole damn life. He. Probably he and like, she yeah. have been. He probably hating. didn't know. He probably didn't even hear about the transgender thing with the military. He's probably just out in his world. Oh my God, who on my Trump hat? You see, the it Republicans doesn't matter. Are like that, though. That's what I'm saying. Transgender or not, you still suck. Transgender people suck. Okay, transgender people also good. <laughs> so does Straight suck. people suck. Straight people also so good. good. There's some people that suck and some people that are good. Whether you're transgender, gay, lesbian, straight fucking alien it doesn't matter there's a bunch of people who suck and a bunch of people who are cool and uh, i'm sorry but most people who support trump i call you a fool and you suck okay that's facts and i'm pretty sure you slightly regret voting but yet the racism kicks back in and you're back in and the support Uh, trump again there's lots of people i've seen like still supporting trump heavy like he's still he could do no wrong he's doing great right now so I mean, yeah. he calls. He's, doing, he's doing awesome. He's the best. Lucky. He's the only president <laughs> to call the White House a total a dump. dump, and yeah. then no one bats an eye. Bet you if any other president were to say that. Does he have a dog? No, you don't have a dog. Dude, look at how many. I mean, he doesn't have a dog. There's no presidential dog, dog right now. Sh- Melania, I thought. <laughs> this is. And he kept her in a different house, yeah, so that bitch. counts. Well, nah, she's in there now. You gotta bring the dog in. She don't talk back. Everything he criticized a black guy for, he's doing ten times, million times worse. Well, dude, when was, when in history, in our lives, have we ever seen this many people leaving, working for him? Like, whether it's quitting, whether it's getting fired. He's constantly taking shots at his attorney general. He's taking shots at everybody, dude. That guy's like... He ain't doing nothing but taking shots, Each. golf shots, yeah. if, if anything. Oh, yeah, didn't you hear he's like, he's spent more, he's on like track to spend more on vacations this year than Obama did his whole eight years in office? Uh, yeah, I believe that makes sense. How also shit is on that? belts. I already spent a lot of money on his belts. God damn. <laughs> yeah. Get some hand implants is what he needs to do. One way to keep that ass in, the, <laughs> in those pants. You think as much money as he has, he can't just have a live filter? So he doesn't always look like shit. Come on, dude. You yeah, no. know this. Or like better glue. You've seen The Apprentice. That's for his hair piece. <laughs> piece. He got, piece. He's got the hair piece. <laughs> that was got hair piece. Anyway, man. Chris Pratt, Anna Ferris, what happened? 
they are legally separated now. <clears throat> Star Lord. Sad news. Star Lord and sad. the girl from uh, Scary Movie One. The main girl. Oh yeah, yeah, the white girl. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I never liked her. No. No, I thought she was. Well, it was, maybe not her, but the movie sucked. I hate those movies. God. The roles she plays. Yeah, those was corny ass roles, man. Well, somebody's got to do them. Somebody's, somebody's got to do them. No, it worked out it. for her, so yep. it's all good. Should. I wish I was in that horrible ass movie. That'd be cool. Could <laughs> did some bad acting. We got other roles. Been great. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. So they're separated now. That's sad. Yeah, eight years. Uh, one boy, one baby boy, and. Uh, you think, yeah. you think all that money got to his head? Well, he was he's actually... a superstar now. He, yeah, he was overweight. And then he lost weight for the Marvel role. Mm-hmm. Probably getting a lot of bitches. And he was what do you mean her, by, like, overweight, was though? Because, like, a, a celebrity he overweight? Got celebrity yeah. overweight, that ain't overweight. That's like, like us right now. Not before he was a oh, celebrity. Oh, shit, okay, that's overweight. He was like us right now. <laughs> really? No, <laughs> yeah. oh, he yeah. lost a shitload of weight then. And like, he, speak for he yourself. He Marvel role. Like that. He got cut up, and, you know, I guess... Bitches like it now. What's, it, what's the dude's name? God damn. Bitches like it. Of course the they guy. like it now. He's famous. Yeah. He's famous and rich. Of course women like you. And thin now. Well, so. What's the a, what's a one actor? Who, he's got the curly hair. He's a comedian. Well, he's not a comedian, but he does like a oh. lot of like comedy type movies. He just lost all that weight. Jonah Hill? Jonah Hill. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, motherfucker yeah. like, yo, he was That's as big as right us. Right he's no, like, he, was big, he was like all three of us together. Dude, that guy is like, yeah, that's definitely inspiration. He, he killed lost it. a lot. He's an inspiration for us. Maybe we should change the name of this podcast to the Fat Boy Podcast. Hey, man. Like I said, speak for yourself. Oh, sorry, Slim Jimmy. That's right. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, shit. I'm working out here. Hey, hey, I'm fit. I'm getting more every fit day. every You're day. You're not fat. I said, I'm fucking fat. She's like, You're not fat. Just oh, knows that. not to say that. <laughs> you well, get fucking five fingers to the face. She calls me fat. They say P H A T. Let's talk about this uh, second to last topic. That looks like I a little fun. Sucking to last. Yeah, like sucking, what? sucking the last topic. <laughs> read the read the topic. Uh, read, okay. Re- so. Read read how uh, our friend or list writer wrote this. Go ahead. <laughs> Is liking another person's pictures or post an issue in your relationship? Bang! Is it? No, because I feel good question. How many people go through that? Still, in in 2017. Okay, I want to say something, though. I definitely got to say something. Some of the shit you like, because I see what you like on my shit, I'm like, yo, how you liking that photo, doc? You're waiting for this, huh? That's cool. No, I wasn't waiting for that at all. Here's the bus. Here's me. (laughs) He just threw me on. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dude. I wasn't even thinking about that. Go on. I was not thinking about that. Oh, you can go hang out with John. Hey, John. <laughs> Let's talk about this, Doc. But, yes. So, anyway, okay, yeah. not even just you. I'm just saying some of my friends in general mm-hmm. who are in relationships, like, they'll be liking <laughs> sounds some, like, like you, so. <laughs> some, some of the photos they be liking, I'm like, yo, how you like that? Like, I'll, I'll mentally like photos. I'll see something, <laughs> and I'm like, like mm. Like. Look good. Keep scrolling. <laughs> so you're not, no, so double tap. you're not honest. I keep it real. Like this. I don't need to be. Uh, <laughs> I keep it real. <laughs> Bow. I like it. I don't need to press a button to know that I like it. Listen, there's a lot of beautiful people in the world. Yeah. Okay, if you think you're the only beautiful one in your relationship in the world after that, and your man or woman has not ever checked out someone else, you're tripping. You're bugging out. Yeah. So you like? Do you like all those photos? I don't hit like on no photos. I have surely seen a lot of beautiful women. I've seen a lot of handsome men. Okay. I have never clicked like on anything. Click like on my photos. The one with my shirt off. I had to take that shit down, dog. That shit was getting way too much attention. No, I hit like on a lot of photos. I ain't gonna lie. But um. I'm definitely not hitting like. Not a problem in mine. I don't even check what my girl likes. Yeah. Who cares? That's my girl. I don't check. Pretty sure my wife doesn't check. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I could care less. I mean, unless it's a picture of one of you dudes with your shirt off and she's liking it, then yeah, I might have a little, uh, little problem there. That's right. But hey, no, nah, it's it's cool. What about this you? This will be my next picture. I'm gonna post and see what happens. Let's we'll see. You ain't getting no likes on that one. Right. She knows better. She get her ass beat. <laughs> I turn it. Let me that like So that's just turned around. I'll be like this. <laughs> Let me hit them with this one. Oh, the... Let me see if it hits a like on Did that. I drop something? <laughs> yeah, look. 
<laughs> Let's see who likes it. Oh shit! No one. Anyway, <laughs> the world. Anyway, yeah. Uh, so do you have a, a pro- you have a problem? No, no. I'm just surprised that it's still an issue for some people. Bro, how people are, are you surprised? Young, yeah, yeah. How are you surprised? You know that's going to be a major issue for I don't know, probably. Well, it would, it would, I would say it would be an issue if you're early in your relationship and like your official, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend. In the, in the young age of the young relationship, yeah. Then you see like someone you just started talking to start just made it official, you know, what I mean? Yeah. And now they're hitting like on all these uh, dudes' pics or like a, a women's booty yeah, pics. Yeah, how would shit, that make you that's feel? Everywhere. One, also women, we can't dodge booty pics. They're everywhere. It's hard to. Okay. You it's try hard. to, and it's and they're like every other picture if you're on Instagram or something, or even on Facebook, anywhere. Anyway. Uh, what was my point? Do you like booty pics? I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, I'm saying no, that early there. in a relationship, you're going to like them. It's there. You're going to yeah. like them, and, and your girlfriend is going to get pissed off. Your boyfriend is going to get pissed off, so the best thing is to do is not to, okay? Like you said, mentally like them. You don't need to like be there liking all you the posts. It's like a girl walking down the street, and you're walking by them. You check them out. But you, you do keep, it like this. But like you this, keep you know, going. It's like all. You know, like you look. Or you drop your phone. Oh, whoops. Oh. <laughs> or, hey, did you see that big building over there? That shit yeah. was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you're not, if you're going to say to me, anyone in the world that has never checked out someone else while you were in a relationship, and does, it doesn't mean something bad. It just means like someone got into your face, walked down the street, or is in your Facebook, social media, Instagram feed, and you didn't see someone hot and took a second look, you're lying. I don't believe you. If you're at a restaurant and you get a plate, and you see somebody else's plate, and you're like, damn, it looks good. You ain't going to return what you got. Yeah. You try to get their plate, you're going to eat your plate. <laughs> you're just looking at their plate like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's a delicious cool. ass meal, but I'm going to get what I came for. Yeah, yeah, I got, you know, I'm here for what it is. <laughs> yeah, I mean. But maybe next time. I'll order that. I might get that. You know, I have to get that. I might, you know. <laughs> Them shirt came out sizzling. Let me get that calamari. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, man, what else we got on here? That was a good. That was a good one. Yeah, that was. That you, should do, you should probably do a little bit more like that. that. Like, those are you good. on the list. Those are good. Redemption like, is spelled J A H. Now talk to us about the next topic. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn. Aaron Carter is by now. <laughs> yeah, apparently he's. Why do we care? Anyway, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> before <laughs> he was, drugs, Aaron, right? wasn't he by before? Was he sucking dick for coke? <laughs> That's why I'm like, well, it makes sense. Well, he's he like a on drugs, drug right? He's a druggie now. I'm mm-hmm. like, so how'd it come out though? How'd it come out that he's? Uh, I saw it all over Twitter. That's all it said. There was no like fucking. He nothing sends behind out it? Uh, an Instagram post or a Twitter post to his fans admitting that he's bisexual. And I was like, uh, my surprise? first thought was like, uh, how else is he gonna get his drugs? Yeah, <laughs> he ain't got no money. <laughs> he ain't got no money. I got a friend who's bisexual. Maybe that's what he meant. B U Y. Yeah, B-U-Y. you know. He don't care who he buys from. Exactly. <laughs> he don't discriminate. Also, he's bi. So bye bye. He was like, "You got any drugs? How much you got?" How Maybe he was money? on drugs. When a mouthful of balls worth. I know that shit was so funny to me. Nobody thinks that though. Maybe he was on drugs when he posted that. Too. It could have been. Could maybe be. maybe his account got hacked, like usually happens when some shit like that. Just just like everything oh, just man. comes up, you know. Everything that gets posted or tweeted, everyone believes. It's quick, and it's a reflection of how bad this, you know, the the world is in right now. You believe anything you see. No one does research or anything. Speaking of by, uh, what's up with uh, DJ Academics? <laughs> Gonna buy. <laughs> I don't know, dude. He's, <laughs> oh my god, he's, he's funny. I mean, and you know what? I'm not gonna front. I'm actually kind of glad he's in that show and they have somebody like that because, like, that's almost how this new generation is. So you yeah. kind of want to see that aspect and kind of how they look at shit. He's uh, he stays on shit, but yeah, he's definitely busterish. A little busterish. He's but... quick with news that no one cares about. Yeah. No one cares about. Obviously <laughs> yeah. fucking people care about it if he's getting 50,000 yeah, views. People on care videos. about it. No one with like... a conscious mind cares about Does that sound better? No, no, no. no. It's it's still the old man hater yeah, sounds. Like, like, <laughs> very no, come on. We're on the same page. He has a small crowd. Not even a small crowd. 
Mm-hmm. He's got his own demographic. We'll say that. Uh, I would yeah. say I would say this in defense of the posting of stuff that no one cares about, as you say. I would say like, yeah, people. It it is dumbass shit, but that is the way of the new times, which is internet based. So everything is news basically. So yeah. every time you see a post of like, I don't know, Lil Uzi Vert walks down the street with two shoes on. Not a, I don't know what the video is like. Two second video. Beanie like, Siegel shits himself. Yeah, no, nah, I don't even think he talks about Beanie Siegel. No, you're right. Either way, Lil Pump takes a dump. <laughs> yeah, that's some stupid shit. Anyway, people care about it. It's just young people care about it. New people care about it. They care about anything these people do because they're so invested in internet. Because yeah. you invest in people's internet ex- like life. So you follow everything they do in their life. If they talk about it and post about it. So, yeah. like, it's technically news to someone. To a lot of people, apparently. Not to you or me, really. I don't care. But I want to hear the music. Right. Like, I'm perfectly fine with them talking about these people, but post some music. Just yeah. hear the music. Yeah, I like being able to hear music on the gram. I hate and that. Get a lot of stuff he posts, or from what I've seen, it's like uh, dumb shit. Antics. Yeah, the yeah, shit like, he like, says antics. though. That's too, the promo. Like, that's the promo yeah. that is that the new age is though. Like, he definitely have throws to have that internet promo. He throws his opinion on everything though too, with a lot of the posts. And I think he's he's definitely toned that down a lot since he's getting so much fucking clapback from all these artists. But he used to like straight up be like. I mean, it's his page. He makes the rules on his page. Nobody tells no, him what to I, do. I get it, but I mean, you see, you see what it's doing to him. It's definitely yeah. No, him, I mean, like, you say what you say. Of, it's gonna get lots questioned of problems, at some point. Like, you better be able to back up your your statements and be willing to. Yeah. Look like a sucker, which you have in a couple times. Right, so the latest, he, the latest thing I've seen is that he made a whole video of uh, Vic Mensa selling or flopping in his terms. Uh huh. And he when did he do that? Like recently? Yeah, on YouTube. Like he, he's he stays. Well, this on... is after the Vic Mensa shit. Like after the little beef. Like he oh, did yeah, one last of these. Week. Oh, dude, he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> Yo, he's literally gonna get shot. Every or beat platform up or I've seen Vic Mensa <laughs> do an interview on, other than his show. Everyone's giving him praise for how good of an album it is. How good of an album it is. How good the content is. The album then, came out, right? I, yeah, yeah, I haven't heard it yet, I but the freestyle I heard, yeah. like from him, he was rapping like the old dudes. He was killing it, like killing it, killing it. And that I, I haven't really said that about any new artist I that I've heard also, in a while. I think also it might have had yeah. some production, if not all production, from. Uh, so does what the hell's his name? No ID. No ID. Yeah. Probably he signed to Rock Nation, so. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the album's probably a great album, especially for I need to hear that if album. you're an old head and you don't like any of the new shit coming out. But it's he's probably like, a good album he's for 23. You. Is that me? So, is that what you're saying? Cool. I think he's falls in the same realm as <laughs> I'm an old head, a Big Sean, uh, and Davies. You know, all those, all the new guys that you know, uh, Kendrick. You listen uh, to Davies? You can't call Big, Big Sean yet, and no. Kendrick are a little bit, I think, older. Like this dude's like kind of just stepping on the scene within the last couple of years. Who? He's a, you can compare him like more to like a Dave East, I'd say. Who? Kendrick, both Kendrick and uh, who was the other person you named? Big Sean. Big Sean. Both those dudes been Jay doing Cole. it for years. So like, I can't, I, I wouldn't really compare it to, are you just saying that like the style of music? Just that they can do both. They can do the yeah, rap, rap shit. And, they can and, do, and then they can do yeah. straight hip hop shit too. Yeah, they can okay. do lyrics and they can do songs. Please. That's how I feel about 2 chains. People, step up your lyric game. Yeah. Please do not let lyrics die. <laughs> no, it's nice. So it's he said it, it sh- says he tweeted Vic Mensa's 13k first yeah. week sales. Basically, he said, like, now he kissed ass. Is what he's saying? No, well, it's 13k. He, 13k he, is low, right? 40, first is like, I think if if you have an issue with someone and you basically don't give a shit and like oh I don't care about this guy he was talking shit about me, but then you go out of your way just to post an entire video of you know this guy didn't sell much because of this. He's a flop, but your the other artist, his trash music that he likes, with guys not saying anything, mm-hmm. don't sell that much, and he'll still promote them, but then they'll trash artists that actually have content. So it's, it's like a constant thing, and I think it's going to bite him in the ass. It's already almost has a couple times. Which is mm-hmm. crazy. Doesn't matter. Album sales don't matter for shit. If it's a good no. album, it's a good album. Yeah, yeah regardless. Yeah. It is what it is. Uh... You guys see uh, anything about that McGregor? Oh, that's yeah. With the trainer? Or the, his sparring though. partner? Okay, so here's what happened. 
they were saying that basically his sparring partner quit because he was going too hard in the sparring matches. Right, who was going too hard? McGregor. Uh, I McGregor actually, was beating him up? Yeah, like he was like going full force. Okay. That's what my bro- my brother told me that right. So kind I actually of a complaint is that I look up the art. Well, you're not supposed to when you're when you're doing that. You're only supposed to like make contact and yeah, but he's not a boxer, pull your though. punches. Um, yeah, but that's just the way you do it in sparring. Whether it's MMA sparring or you don't go full out. Like you, even when watching like yeah, but I'm saying like he's not a boxer, so he's probably trying to box to see if it works. You know what I mean? No, <laughs> like, I feel you. Like, like yeah, we're saying, he's hurt? learning like, boxing does it right hurt now. You? So. But here's the thing. I so, wonder if this one will knock someone out. You know right. I mean? like, you got to check. I read the article. This glove is weird. Anyway, and basically what they were saying is uh, the guy was pissed that they he released a photo. And I, I seen the photo. It's one photo where they're both like this. Uh-huh. And then the next photo, it's McGregor's amazing. holding his hands up and dude's on the, on the, the ground. ground. Dude says, yo, he pushed me. One, they should have never released the photo. Two, release all the footage so they could see what's up. And this is exactly what happened with his last sparring partner. Who was, was a professional boxer? Wow. He, uh, they released a little video where it looked like McGregor was getting the best of him. That dude ends up releasing the full video, which you can look up on YouTube, and McGregor was getting his ass handed to him the whole time. So the fact that this happened again, and they're trying to push it like that, does not surprise well, me. They're and just milking it for what it is. They have to, dude. He's gonna it's get his ass show. whipped. You, they can't show him getting his ass beat, by, you know, in these sparring matches because yeah. nobody's gonna want to watch a fight. I hope so, they have a, a better marketing push right before the, uh, right before the fight because uh, how many weeks away are we? Like two still weeks, three like weeks, three weeks away. Yeah. When it is, it's the seventh, and it's what the twenty sixth. Yeah, it's about three, two, three weeks away. Yeah, about the, uh, two well, and a half weeks, three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. So you got yeah. that last week push. Okay, you got to get the pay per views. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. I feel you. Do you see how much the tickets were? They're like fifteen hundred dollars. No, for like the worst seat. For really? Real? Yeah. Mm, are they sucks. doing the? Uh, are they going to show the movie theaters budget. yet? Yeah, they confirmed that, right? Here. Yeah, my brother yeah. told me that they're it's going to be what forty bucks. Here. Forty bucks. I ain't doing that though. I don't want to sit in the theater. A ticket? No, I'm trying yeah. to smoke weed and watching the movie. Watching the fight. Shut up. I'm good. I ain't trying to buy the popcorn there. Yeah, no. I ain't trying to do all that. What is it on a TV? Because I don't want to watch all those uh, the undercard fights sitting in a damn movie theater, you know, stuck there for three or four hours. I'm going to tell you this much. If you you pay for the pay-per-view, you better watch those fights. I'm going to be watching. (laughs) I'm saying, but I want to be able to go out, get a couple beers, you know, go out, maybe smoke a little (laughs) bit, come back in, watch, you know. Watch the fights. I'm trying to be litty when that shit's happening. I'm trying, trying to, to have be... some chicken, some wings. Yes, yeah, but I'm chicken. Uh, that chicken that his girl knows how to make. Oh, oh shit. That's true. I want chicken strips up, dog. I'm going to make that shit. I might got him. <laughs> I might got him. I might got him. I might get them wings. <laughs> it's like, yo, I don't. I can't really pitch in my 33, but I brought all this chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an option? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Any any head shit. that's there, any head that's there that's a dude has to pitch in, and right. they're going to be paying a... Whatever it is, whether it's a fourth or a fifth, Fine. break it down like that. Pay the, you pay the fee. The cheaper, the better. You pay to play. Fine, pay what whatever, you weigh. Man, <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, man. Any uh, other juice before uh, we get this shit? Uh, Are you, sir, excited for the Kylie Jenner show? Me? Oh, dude. My girl had yes. it on last night. My girl and her mom. So it was on, and you know how like it runs. They do they another show, and then it plays them. again. It finally aired, bro. I was fucking getting so pissed hearing this shit in the background, just because she's so annoying. And then like like I said, another show aired, and then it was on again. I straight up told my girl, babe, babe, can you I'm just shut the off. TV off? Can you just shut it off? <laughs> like serious. And she's doing something else. I'm like, no, no. Could you grab the control and shut the TV off? Like I don't want to hear it no more. Mad annoying. Mad I, annoying. I, I didn't see it. I didn't know it was airing last night. And she was talking about how she just wants to be a normal person. How uh, it's not gonna happen. She's she went to a, a therapist. Good. She's saying how well, she's way more comfortable just going on Instagram Live and Snapchat than going out in public, and nobody knows the real her. She's really just goofy she and wants to have fun. You know, you know what I do hate about she don't know a normal life because she's been on the show since nine. It's true. Yeah, since nine. I've been a celebrity oh, since a child, and no, I'm sure you don't know I'm a sure regular life. Some shit up, but yeah. Okay. But you know what I do hate. The most is when celebrities complain about stress, but like, but but like, 
they describe it as anxiety. And on that show, they say it all the time. They're like, I just have anxiety. Bitch, you just, dog, you're just stressed stupid. out. Like, yeah. take it easy. Yeah. It's not yeah, a big anxiety. deal. Chill. Plus, like, you're rich. Like, what kind of real stress do you have? Get exactly. some real life. Like, man, people talking shit about no, like, you gonna, online. And you're going to go what, to a therapist? Was it with a therapist? She was at a therapist. A therapist, the therapist complaining like, like you've been a celebrity your whole life and it's, you want a regular ass life. Imagine struggling to pay rent. Yeah. How hard's that? Okay. How hard's In that? In the hood. No. Imagine not being able to fucking get a job. Imagine that. Imagine being in an abusive relationship. This shit could be a lot worse. Yeah, I don't even want to go that far. I do. <laughs> but just imagine a regular ass shitty life. Yeah, right? imagine normal people problems. <laughs> a normal people life, which is like, I check can't the go check. to Walgreens and not uh, get eyelash makeup. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. I can't go and get some ice cream. I can't go to get my fro yo. <laughs> Yeah. People go crazy when I go get frozen yogurt. You have your <laughs> own froyo. The pops are, house. you know, uh, that bitch got everything in her house. Word. You have the means to be yeah, like, show. I'm so stressed. <sighs> I want to go. Imagine there. having a roach in your house. <laughs> you got roaches here, dog. Yeah. Yeah, it's chilly. You tell that to them, they're like, what's a roach? You mean like yeah. a uh, um, uh, almost Never used up one. weed? A blunt? <laughs> almost yeah. used up weed. Almost <laughs> used up. <laughs> <laughs> My dude don't smoke at all. At all. No. Is it all? Almost used up weed blunt. <laughs> <laughs> the reefer? The marijuana? The marijuana cigarette? Anyway, you don't you don't want to live a regular life. Okay? So yeah, I ain't Even with regular that show lives don't want regular ass lives. Yeah. Okay. I've this watched Kardashians. Sucks. Kardashians. I'm sucks not saying it's cool, but I, I watch it with her. But like this, nah, I want to jump off a cliff after watching that shit. I'm I wasn't even watching. I was in the other room listening to it. No, I, I hate you when, might like it. You I might hate like when it. rich people complain, so I, hopefully it's not a lot of complaining. You might like it. Just let I me like know. to see the lives of rich celebrity uh, Kardashian people. You know? I'm they still, li- they I'm live still waiting for Scott an to get untouchable show. life. That show I'll watch. Scott is fucking funny. Scott is hilarious. That dude, he's the best Kardashian. I pray that show comes out. He's the best Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yo. Love that dude. For real. Anyway. I think that, that that probably sums it up. Yeah, I think that wraps right it now. up. I think we, we got to get up out of here. Wrap it up then. Uh, so we're going to be out. Any shout outs? You want to give a shout out? Oh, shout out to uh, my girl's daughter for uh, starting college. Good job. Oh, yeah. All Congrats. Right. All U of A. Yeah. All, all right. the way. Wildcats. All right. That's cool. That's Let's cool. go. That's shout it? out to um, shit. Shout out Blue Jeans. Shout out to blue jeans. Yeah, my mom put the hem up on my jeans. I'm short and fat, so you know they don't make them in my size. So when I was in Vegas last week, mom, thank you for putting the hem up on my jeans. I look dope now. Word. Shout out, shout out to all the moms buying the, and, and dads buying all the uh, the school supplies. You know Yo, yeah, shout out to everybody starting school. Shout out to Walmart having good prices. Oh, word, you know Walmart word. got them best Wait, prices did, trying to get you in there. Do do they still have to like wrap the book? In the paper, do they still have to do that? Oh, no. book covers! Oh shit, I remember <laughs> those. I don't even know. What were those called? Book covers. Book they were covers, called yeah. book covers, yeah. and you'd fold it all crazy, and that's like it'd be the worst. This shit was the worst. Yeah, they like were hard. Oh, that's <laughs> a roach. Leg just now. <laughs> oh, that was my balls. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Maybe you should put some <laughs> pants on, man. <laughs> Jeans. I don't have pants on here. So that's the problem. You ain't got no pants just on. Just coming for me. Shout out to that one uh, YouTube commenter that gave us a good nickname. Oh, the three diabetes. Oh, that? Oh, three <laughs> diabetes. <laughs> this shit's not funny because they probably do got diabetes. I ain't been to the doctor in like 10 years, so. Hey, man, you still alive, fool. Anyway, yeah, shout out to all of that good stuff. Um, any more shout outs? No? No. Shout mm-hmm. out to my kids. Shout out everybody listening. Shout out my kid. All right, all right. Shout out to everybody listening. Like I said, everybody on Facebook. Everybody's going to watch this on YouTube. Everybody is going to listen to this on uh, SoundCloud. And Instagram also. Follow us on Instagram, SG Podcast, for the latest news and podcast information. Yep, SG Podcast. We just started that shit last week already popping. So Shout out to that. Get it. We got them memes. Moving out here. We're moving. We're coming. We got them We're coming. Look out for the backdrop here soon. We that got this is... new setup. Uh, yeah, I know. It's plain and shit, but... Too yeah, bad. We gotta, we gotta have a backdrop for you Get some when we want to. How about that? Soon enough. Oh, when you give us money. You can give us money and we'll get a better backdrop if that's bothering you so goddamn yep. much. Just Donate. Mr. Us Clean Sweep. If you want to send us money, just let us know. At live. Just com. message private. PayPal. Mr. Clean Sweep at live.com. Yep. Oh. We take donations. <laughs> 
Anyway, we're out of here. Uh, peace out. Some great podcast, episode 32. Catch us next week, Monday. Same time, same channel. This is Jadid. I'm Danny. Big AJ. We out of here. Peace. Peace. Peace.